kita bosa saya si Kwanu kwa biti saya si Kwanu ya bosa saya si Kuzi na pita tuzi na omega tuzi na alfa saya si The Science Foundation College in Namavu Kurejinja Ngo ingi la kilomite hmm. So minuli adene boarding Eli haba wala naba lenzi Kuolevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Omwana mretu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanyevi singa o Kwa kuzilo musambu tano satu Chinana Abili musambu Zilo muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences And best for sciences Da kokorochi Classification Kingdom and Maria. Justification The cockroach has got a mouth for hydrotrophic nutrition. This distinguishes it from plants that make their own food. A cockroach has got legs for locomotion. This distinguishes it from fungi. Fungi are hydrotrophic organisms, but fungi don't move from one place to another. A cockroach is multicellular. This distinguishes it from unicellular organism such as Paramecia. Phyla Arthropoda Justification A cockroach is bilaterally symmetrical. A cockroach has got segmented body a cockroach has got exoskeleton. A cockroach has got jointed legs. Killers insecta. Justification. The body is subdivided into three main body parts: head, thorax, and abdomen. The thorax is subdivided into three main body parts: that is, prosorax. Mesosorax and Metasorax. Fili, a cockroach has got three pairs of legs. Cockroaches are insects of the order Blatidia. About 30 cockroach species out of 4,600 are associated with human habitats. About four species are well known as pests such as the American cockroach, brown banded cockroach, German cockroach and the oriental cockroach. What do cockroaches eat? Cockroaches are a type of insect that most people think of as dirty and gross. They are, however, actually clean and intelligent bugs. They get their nasty reputation from their diet of mostly rotting substances, but they are an essential part of many ecosystems, where they clean up things that could otherwise spread disease. Roaches prefer starchy, decomposing foods, but in truth they can eat almost anything. Fallen leaves, sugary items like rotten fruits and old meats would be their food of choice in the wild. But many cockroaches have adapted to life close to people. In a human home, cockroaches have been found eating paper, dead skin cells, glue, hair, any food that's been left out, leather, and even wood. Because of the abundance of things you might not even consider as a food source, it's no wonder so many cockroaches take up residence in apartments, restaurants and houses. How long can a cockroach go without food? Many people think that cockroaches can survive for a long time without eating. Well, this is true, but the news isn't all good for the cockroach. Most roaches can go up to a month without food because they are cold-blooded. However, they will die in a week if they do not have access to water. Habitat Cockroach lives in dark places, such as crevices, cupboards, and behind the cupboards and pit latrines. You may be required to study the dorsal view with the right wings extended. We can see head, antenna, wings, thorax, abdomen, and anal. Secas. 
oro in my video card study the ventral view of the cockroach you can see the head the leg is out divided into coxa to a chanta femur cross and tassas then you can see abdomen solex and the head a drawing of the ventral view of a cockroach we label antenna head legs abdomen and anosecus when you are required to identify the sex of a cockroach a female cockroach has got a podico plate a drawing of structures used to identify a female cockroach. You label podico plates and broad abdomen. Identifying the sex of a male cockroach, a male cockroach has got styros. A drawing of structures used to identify a male cockroach, we label styros. The Science Foundation College in Namavu kwe jinja Ngo ingi la kilomite mm. So minuli ya dene boarding Eri haba wala naba lenzi Ku olevo tusomisa arts ni sciences Ate erevo tusomisa sciences zoka Umwana mwretu ku The Science Foundation College Fetu singo kusomisa sciences Okumanya visinga o Kwa ku zero musambu tano satu Chinana Abili musambu zero muenda The Science Foundation College Best on sciences and best for sciences You are required to analyze the front of you Of the head on the head we find the antenna, eyes, maxilla pulp, labio pulps, and the labrum. A drawing of front of you of the head showing sensory organs. We label antenna for feeling, eyes for seeing, maxillary pulp for testing. Labio pulp for testing, labrum for testing. Adaptation is of the head to its function. The head has got a flexible neck to turn in all directions. The head has got eyes for sight to see food and enemies. The head has got maxillary pulp and labial pulp for testing food. The head has got long antenna to sense distant objects. The head has got flexible antennas not to break when they meet the obstacle. The antennas are gented for flexibility. The head has good strong mandibles for chewing. Sometimes we are required to draw an antenna as seen through a microscope. Note that through the microscope, the antenna look bigger, but also show more details such as hairs. Sometimes we are required to study the hind leg. On the hind leg you find coxa, trochanta, femur, tibia, tarsus, cross and granular parts. Adaptation is of the hind leg to its function. The hind leg has got two functions. One, locomotion. For locomotion, it is a muscular to provide propulsion force. It is jointed for flexibility. It has granular parts to stick on a smooth surface. Claws are long and curved and strong to grip in a cracked surfaces. 
the areola is solid to separate sticky substances to stick on smooth surfaces. It has good hard pointed spines for protection against the enemies. The wings, there are two pairs of wings. The outer wing is long and thick to protect against mechanical damage and to prevent water loss. The inner wing is thin and broad at the apex to generate repulsive force during flight. Here we may be required to draw the outline of the wing then they will be looking like this. Differences between the outer wing and the inner wing. The outer wing is dark. The inner wing is lighter in color. The outer wing is oval. The inner wing is triangular. The outer wing is not folded. The inner wing is folded into two. Adaptation is of the outer wing to its function. It is dark for camouflage. It is dark to look like the environment so that it is not seen easily. The outer wing is slippery to escape the grip of the enemy. The outer wing is thick to protect the inner parts of the body. Adaptation of the inner wing to its function. The inner wing is large to provide the person force during flight. The inner wing is flexible not to break under stronger wing. Section of a cockroach. Note that the cockroach is dissected dorsal side uppermost. In this state, your right is its right, your left is its left. Two. During the setting of exams, questions are specific. Questions will require you to dissect a cockroach from the left lateral side or from the right lateral side. You may be required to display certain organs either to the left or to the right. Make sure you follow the instructions to the dot. The common loss of Max when you are dissecting a cockroach is failure to follow the instructions. The following are the most common questions, but the questions may be rephrased or even changed. One, dissect to, to expose the saturatory system. Remember, the, the saturatory system is on the dorsal cuticle and it includes iota, 
Harare muscles and the heart chambers. A drawing of the circulatory system we label aorta, harare muscles and heart chambers. Two, dissect to expose and draw the digestive system in undispressed form. We observe osophagus, crop, gizzard, choroid gut, rectum, and anus. A drawing of the digestive system in undispressed form. We label osophagus, salivary gland, crop, digestive sicker, choroid gut, rectum, and anus. Three, we will be required to dissect and expose the digestive system to the right and draw. Remember the question requires us to dissect, displace the digestive system to the right. We observe sphagus, crops, gizzard, digestive sicker, medigat, area, colon, rectum, and anus. Remember, the Marfigian tubo is not labeled here because it deals with excretion. A drawing of a digestive system dispersed to the right. We observe osophagus, salivary gland, crop, gizzard, digestive sicker, midgut, ileum, colon, and the anus. Remember that the malfigial tubo is not labeled because it deals with excretion. If you are told to label structures responsible for digestion, we don't label the colon because it is not, it's not responsible for digestion. It's responsible for absorption of water. Cecum is not responsible for digestion. It's only responsible for strategy of feces. And the anus is not responsible for digestion. Question four. You may be required to dissect the cockroach in the normal way. Remove the alimentary canal to expose the structures on the ventral cuticle and draw. On the ventral cuticle of a middle cockroach, we observe the nervous system and the mushroom gland. A drawing of structures on the ventral cuticle of a middle cockroach, we label thoracic ganglion, flight muscles, abdominal ganglion, mushroom gland, and ejaculatory duct. On the ventral cuticle of a femoral cockroach, we observe the nervous system and ovaries. Question 5. You may be required to draw the generalized anatomy of a cockroach. A drawing of the general anatomy of a male cockroach. We label salivary glands, tracheal tract, crop, digestive sicker, gizzard, midgut. Ilium, Marpigian tubos, colon, rectum, 
thoracic ganglion, heart, artery muscles, and abdominal ganglion. A general diagram of a female cockroach anatomy will label salivary glands, clop, gizzard, digestive cecum, malpigian tubos, colon, heart, artery muscles, ovaries, and oviduct. You may be required to separate the parts of the mouth, draw and label. To separate the parts of the mouth easily, we boil the head of a cockroach in sodium dioxide to soften the muscles. The mouth parts include maxilla, labium, mandible, and labla. Parts of the maxilla, they include cardo, Stipe, Galea, Lacinia, and Maxillary Pulp. Functions of the Maxilla. The Maxilla is used to test for food. The Maxilla is used to manipulate food into the mouth. Parts of the labia or lower lip. This include submentum. Mentum, glossa, paraglossa, and labio pulp. Function is of the labium to test for food. The 